So a young kid, not young, you know, above 18, he got moved down from the south and he come apply for a job at this general store. This is a big store. They sell everything that you can think about. So when he comes see the interview with the manager, the manager asks him if you get any experience doing sales before. He said no. He's very young and he won't get into the industry. But um, he had a laminate, laminate stand. So the manager really liked the kid and he wanted to give him an opportunity. So he took him in as a salesperson. So on the first day, he asked the guy, how many sales you made? The guy said one. The manager said, oh my goodness. The average sale for our sales up here are between 20 and 30. Anyway, how much did you make on your sale? The kids say I make $124,999. The manager was shocked. He was like, holy crap. Tell me, what did you sell? The man, a man come in and I sell him a hook. Then I asked him, what are you going to do with that hook? He said he's going to go down to the shore to go fishing. So I asked him, do you have a boat? He said, no, you don't have a boat. So I told him, you're going to need a boat to go down to the, the shore over here. You need a boat. So I sell him the twin engine yellow fin uh, boat and when i sell him the boat i asked him how are you going to tow the boat he said oh i have a key soul i said no no you can't you can't tow the boat with the key soul so i sell him a four by four the manager said wait 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 so you mean to say a guy come in to buy a hook and then you sell him a boat and a four, four by four the kid said no no he come in because his girlfriend sent him to buy a box of a tampon so I told him, your weekend is uh, shot anyway. You might as well go fishing. Oh my God. <laughs> Cheers. Hello everyone. Welcome back to the channel. It's your local family with Rita and Krishna. I hope everyone is having a good day. Thank you in advance for watching. And we hope that you enjoy this video. Please subscribe to our channel. And share with everyone. Yes guys, so today we're going to make some nice red snapper curry here. We got red snapper all the way from the Caribbean, off the coast of uh, Brazil, right? This is Brazilian red red snapper. We're going to make some nice snapper curry. And we got the rice boiling there. We're going to make some rice and snapper. So I'm going to clean this up and we'll get going. We got three, three nice size red snapper here. Look at this. Yes, a lot of flesh. So Hi, bestie. Bestie. <laughs> Yes guys, so I clean out the fish and cut it up and Rita season it up for me there, right? Rita season up very lightly. We're going to fry it first. This is the way I like to make my curry. I like to fry it and then I'm going to make my curry, right? So this is already lightly seasoned here, ready to go. I got my oil warm up. Jenna, are you ready for this? Yeah. All right. Your favorite, right? Curry. Yeah. And roti. Yes. Like How was your day today? Rice. Roti. Mm. How was your day today? Good snow a lot of snow right yeah you only got delay opening you didn't get a snow day we went to school at 10. see what's going on here uncle krishna yeah i got the oil warm up already like i said i'm not gonna fry it for too long i'm gonna quick fry here just to stiffen it up so you're not gonna leave something in the car right? this is my way of doing it And we have my other bestie. Hey, bestie! Hi. You gotta say hi, bestie. Hi. <laughs> Eat and help peeling nut. We're gonna make some nice mm, fry nut. Nuts, nuts, nuts. So we got the first set done there, like I said. I don't wanna fry it too much. I'm gonna fry it lightly. Because I'm gonna make curry in here, right? And drain it out real good. Nice. Nice and fluffy. Yeah, not over fry. Like I said. Lightly, lightly, slightly. Or lightly. Hey, bestie. I have a joke for you guys. Why do people tell actors to break a leg? Because the play already has a cast. Oh, that's a good one, Jen. Bravo, bravo. Good job, good job. Bye. Bye. Yes, guys, so my fish is uh, finished frying here. Like I said, I, I fried it very lightly, right? And it this is the way I like to do it. 
to make the curry. I don't want it to loose up in the curry. So I got all my ingredients spread out here. Let's go. Yeah. All right. Let's give it some olive oil. Okay, so I got my oil warm up here. I'm going in with my onion, pepper, bay leaf, and curry leaf here. Are we gonna let the onion fry up here for a little bit? And Krishna, mm -hmm. what's the update on your stiff neck? Ease up a little bit, but it's still there. See, I can turn a little bit better. I don't want to force it too much before I pull the muscle again. So I'm going to take it easy. Take it easy with it. So I was home for a three-day weekend, plus I get an extra day. So four-day weekend. I relax a little bit. The only exercise I did was like this. Put my hand up and down to my mouth. What do you think was that? Drinking. <laughs> so that was the only medicine I was taking. All right, so I got my onion and pepper for... Uh, Fry up there, I'm going in with my dry ingredients. I got masala, curry powder, some turmeric, and some grind jeera. I got my uh, grind garlic and my green seasoning. Those are the thyme that I picked from my garden and they had a seasoning there. All right, here I'm gonna go in with a little bit of seasoning, top it off with some more Mr. Dash, some uh, paprika, red chili. Because we seasoned the fish and cook it. Yep, and here we got a little bit of black pepper there. I got my dry seasoning in there. I'm gonna wet it up now just to make a little taste here. So, bungee up the masala there. So, I give it a nice and decent amount here of uh, masala and seasoning. Because I got a, I like about, I cut that up into like about 10 pieces. Yeah, a lot of fish. A lot of fish here. So, it's a decent amount. Nice meat. So, I got some chipped up mango here and tomatoes. I'm going in with that. So, let that uh, bungee up with the masala there. So, I'm adding in all this stuff here. Because uh, I'm not going to put the fish in right away. That's why I pre-fry my fish or pre-cook it. Fry it up first. So that's going to go almost towards the end. So I'm going to let this uh, bungee here. And then we'll go in with the fish down the line. When it's almost finished. This is the way I like to do mine. So check this out here. I got my masala bungee up there nice with the tomato and the mango. I'm going in with water. This time, like I told you earlier, I'm not going to put the fish, right? I'm going to put the fish towards the end almost. I'm going to make my gravy first. So I got a decent amount of fish. I'm going with a decent amount of uh, gravy too. The kids love the gravy, right? Especially if they're going to eat this with roti. So we'll cover this up now and we'll let it boil. Towards the end, we're going to add the fish in. Very simple, very simple today. All right, let's check and see how the curry coming along there. All right, the look, gravy look nice and thick the way we want it. So we're going to go ahead and put the fish in. And we're going to let this boil for a little bit too, even though we fried, but not for too long, uh, about 10 minutes or so. So we got a decent amount here. That's why the gravy probably looked like it's a lot, right? But now when I get all my fish in, maybe the gravy is going to come out short. Yeah, because a lot of fish. All right, so the way I did my fish, I don't have to boil it for too long and it's not going to loose up right that's why i fry it so it can uh, stiffen up a little bit all right so all right that's perfect there check out this uh, fish there how you come out there nice and chatak matak right it's thick i don't want to turn it up to break the fish yeah that's looking real good there ready to go we're gonna top it off with some shallot there or scallion and it's hot when it get cold the gravy gonna get thicker I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to turn this out. So look what I got here. Ethan and Jenna was helping to peel this out. These are peanuts, raw peanuts. So they helped to peel this out. They didn't have homework today. So I give them some extra work. All right. So they did a good job peeling all of this. I'm going to fry this up. This is the nut that you normally get when you're crossing over from the telling from Barbies River, right? And you've got Josh Strong, you've got airport side. you come over, you get and this. Tim, on, on, what the boat name? Tim Turani. Turani. Man used to walk around and sell. Come and get your nuts. Come and get your nuts. Nuts, 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 nuts. Five dollars. Five dollars. I don't know if it's five dollars now. I don't think so. But uh, that was back then. Anyway, I'll show you guys. I'm gonna fry this up and show you guys. We're gonna make some nice snack here for the kids or for myself too, right? This is what good as cut this too. Yeah, check and it it's out. It's very tasty. Check it out. We took like an hour to clean it. Yeah, we gotta peel. We have to peel one by one. But uh, hard work pays off, right? Yeah, you got, you got good taste. And fresh. You do it yourself. Yep, yep, absolutely. So I got a question for all the ladies, right? 
When a lady and man get into an argument, them say the lady is always right. What do you say, Rita? Lady is always right? Definitely. And they say the man must always be wrong. So what if the man tell the lady, you are right, or the woman is right, then what does that make it? A wrong and a right. <laughs> All right, tell me guys what you think. Because if a man tell a lady, she is right, and then they say the man is always wrong, and the man say you are right, that means you are wrong. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I said. So I got my aisle warm up here, ready to go. Fire, fire. And I got my glass for protection, right? This is normally pitch up. Let's normally do this outside. Alright, so I got the two scoop in there. I'm gonna let this fry. I don't want to grow too much heat, about medium heat. And we're gonna let this fry. You gotta watch it and see. You don't want it to get too, want the color to change. Because uh, when you remove this, it still gets brown, right? So you don't want it to over brown it. So you just gotta use your judgment. You gotta see when it looks hard. You can, you know, give it a, a try once in a while, see if it's very hard. And that way you do it because if you. You gotta be careful of this. Sometimes it gets dark really quick. And when you take it out, the color. This is about seven to eight minutes here. Yeah. I'm scared you're gonna pitch. Sometimes. You gotta be careful. Anyway, I got my draining pan here, so I'm not gonna drain it too long. You know, I have this strainer here. And like I said, it's gonna get darker, even though I remove it from the oil. But that's why you gotta be careful of this, right? So that's the first set here. Peanuts, peanuts, come and get your peanuts. Five dollars a pack. Five dollars a pack? Five US, not guy and a dollar, right? No, that's too expensive. <laughs> you can't sell them five dollars in Guyana too. That's too cheap. Maybe twenty. Twenty? No, maybe a hundred dollars or so. Really? <laughs> you see, I don't know even know the exchange, you know, take me back so many years. One of these days I'll take you to Liberty Avenue, don't worry. Little Guyana. A tide going there. Alright guys, so this is what it's looking like there. Oh nice. Depends on the color, how you like it, right? If you want it a little bit darker. But like I said, it's going to turn darker while it's still here. So I'm going to let this aisle warm up back for a little bit before I go in with the, like the second set. It's crunchy, right? Be careful, it's hot. Mm -hmm. And this thing here is very addictive. When you start eat this, you don't want to stop. Especially if you sprinkle a little bit of salt in it. Alright, so we got the aisle warm up again. We're going to go in with the second set. Nice and slow. You still did a really good job trying to dry this off here. That's why you're not pitched so much, right? Yeah. Alright, so we got one more set remaining. Oh, that was quick. Yeah. Nice and easy. We make things simple. Nice and simple, nice and easy. Alright guys, so another 7 to 8 minutes. And this should be good to go. Yeah, check out this one. It's coming along pretty good there, right? Yeah. Real nice. Sorry, try to see it's crunchy. Still hot. No, juggle it. Like, put it and juggle it. You scared? Good. Good. Nice and crunchy, just the way we like it. Here. And the way it's supposed to be. You gotta add some salt in it and it's even better. So check it out, family. We got one set over here. Then the next set over here. Last set, last set is not going on. Going in with the last set. Okay, let me do a good job with this thing. I'm going to ask you how I do it. Let me turn down first. Oh, because this one is a, the last set. Maybe you be like more um, on the kitchen. No, the water. Set. You squeeze the water real good. Thank you. So I'm the professional. You have to give me the credit. You always give the credit, man. And check it out guys, this is the original nut back home. I know a lot of people will be like, oh my god, oh my miss a nut inside a stellin. Where can I tell it? <laughs> oh. We got everything here, you know. The stellin come to you man, don't worry, the stellin come to you, you don't have to go. Yeah, check these out. This was the first step. You know, let that cold. And I want to keep them separate because like I was telling you earlier, right? If you cannot be careful, some of them might get dark, so I don't want to mix it up. But well, it seems like I got, I got it right on track here. Yeah, yeah. Everything's perfect. Of course, I want them to drain too. Separate them so they can drain out a little bit. Get the extra oil out. Come and get your nuts. 
Yeah, this come out real good. They had a two set. I tasted it. It's nice and crunchy. Mm -hmm. And it's even going to be better when we add our um, seasoning and flavors. Seasoning and flavor to it. But this is very, very good. And kids go walk this out real quick, right? Yeah, Jen, especially. Anyway, not this healthy. And now this oil here, we can use this oil back. It's peanut oil now. Yeah, you it's pay a lot of money. Healthier. You pay a lot of money for peanut oil. Yeah. Guys, check out this uh, red snapper here. How you come out? Red snapper curry with some rice and green mango there. Take a look. Real nice, right? All right, let's go ahead. And, and we ran out of um, side We ran out of side We didn't get side to put in it. Let me show you guys the fish here. Let's break it. And see? See, that's why I like to give it a little fry and then boil it up so it stays intact, right? Even though we gotta break it now. We're gonna go ahead and taste it with some rice and a little bit of gravy there. And of course, I'm going in with my hands, right? Our fingers. Our fingers. And this is very flavorful. The way we do it comes out really good. And this fish is very flavorful. And of course, I got my uh, pimento pepper to flavor it up. That one is habanero I give you today. Oh, habanero? Oh, man. I got to eat some more rice and we start burning. I'm just messing with you. <laughs> so check out the peanut here. All right, come on. Real nice. So we're going to add some flavor to it. First, we're going to go in with some uh, pepper sauce. And you give it as much or as less as you want. Depends on, on your liking, right? And we're going to give it some uh, grind garlic. Go light, go light. On your hand. <laughs> we think my hand is a bit. Of course, we gotta go with the salt, right? All right. So now we're gonna give it a good mix. Feel like we want to go in with my hand here. What do you say? So yes, fam. What are we doing? Mm, we're bagging it off. I put it in this uh, small ziplock bag, so you can just grab one and go, right? So it's a snack size. See how nice it come with it? How nice it's looking? Smell real good too with the pepper and the garlic. It's really good and it's still still very crunchy, right? So that's why we're gonna seal it up so it stays uh, crunchy. Yeah, check it out. What you guys think this bag worth? Drop a comment down below. In any Caribbean country, I think this is known in Guyana mostly. I don't know. By the way, this pack? style? Yeah. Yeah, I think mostly in the Caribbean. I think Trinidad does it too because I see when you go to the roti shop and stuff, they have in the um, in the bottle. Yeah. Come and get your nuts, 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 peanuts, peanuts. And this bag it comes with a funnel, but I think the funnel is mostly for uh, liquid. If you want to do icicle and stuff, so so I figure let me go with the spoon directly. Really why we do it like this because when we go out the kids will come down and get snack they will pick up one one of each item we got in the pantry and take it yeah so that's why we do it this way and it stay fresher like this because you don't have to go in and out of the container right right yeah you just take one bag and it's that portion side right you got a portion that you're gonna eat anyway eat it out and it's good the rest stays uh Nice and seal, right? Rita, Rita, girl, where you wanna go? Oh, we're here. Mm -hmm. We're here. We, Ethan wants to have steak, so we bring him to Applebee's. He said he wanna try Applebee's because we haven't been here for years. What general, general, you gonna have? We're gonna check the menu. She's not sure. We didn't be here for years, so I don't know what the menu looks like. All right, so we're here at Applebee's. Applebee's. So check out, check out our fit. Applebee's in Clifton. Let me see, Rita. Oh, Phil, let me see. Let me get you. All right, looking nice. Jen, let's see your fit. Uh, you guys are matching. Yeah. All I right. Have, I, I forgot to wear my jacket like hers. All right. All right, guys, so we go into Applebee's here, right here in uh, Clifton, New Jersey. Applebee's, the neighborhood. We're going to support the local neighborhood restaurant, right? All right, let's go. Applebee's Bar and Grill. We are here for the grill and the bar, me and Ethan. So check it out family, we're in Applebee's here 
and it's packed. When I tell you it's packed, it's packed, 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 packed. We sit down here for 10 minutes and nobody came <laughs> and attend to our table. Right, Jen? Yeah, for, a, for, a for a Sunday. No, 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 no school, no. No school. Yeah, maybe that's a football night to a lot of uh, big game going on, playoff. Playoff football, so maybe it could be it. Guys, the restaurant is very busy, busy, busy. We've been here for almost 20 minutes, right? <laughs> we still didn't get anything to drink yet. It's so packed tonight. You tell me what you think, man. Ready for the steak? We can't make it because it eats it. you want a steak, so you come for a steak. It tends to you are apple. But you see on the endless shrimp, endless hot wings for $14.99. So uh, Rita said she's going to try that tonight. It tends to okay, he's going to try this steak. So, all right, let's see what's happening. Rita finally got your drink. Cheers, Rita. Cheers. And I got a. I forget what they call this one. Uh, this one is unspecial. It's a special drink. You know, give it a try. Yeah, Rita, endless wing come. Rita, you do big damages there, girl. And here I got the endless from. Guys, look fries. at this. We came to the movie theater and look, action here. The whole place flood out. That's the parking lot over there. Flood, flood. Oh my God, the whole parking lot flood out. Let's go fishing, Krishna. <laughs> 